President's College, located at Golden Grove on the east coast of Demerara, is one of the premier secondary schools in the country. The decision to have all students live in the dorms comes a day after eight students at the school tested positive for COVID-19. Minister of Education Priya Manikchan, during a meeting with parents of non-residential students, said once inside the campus, the students will not be allowed to leave the school during the school term as part of the ministry's measures to prevent the spread of the deadly disease. We were advised by the Ministry of Health, we were given a solution, and I'm putting that to you now. And that is that the non-resident students stay in. So we don't have a lot of going and coming. You stay in here. At this dorm, we test everybody, so we have a ground zero. You're tested here. Everybody knows that we're all negative, and there's no going out and coming in. So even the dorm students who can usually go home, I'm sorry, I'm stifling with this thing. Even the dorm students who can usually go home on weekends, we're not allowing that anymore. Because once you go home, we don't know where you're picking up to come back. And then you could infect the whole school. So for this school and for the other dorm schools, we have to take a different approach. And the approach is that non-resident students have to stay in. There are 139 residential students who have already returned to the campus and a total of 151 are listed as non-residential students. The non-residential students live along the East Coast or in close proximity to the school and would normally travel every day to school via public or private transportation. But while these students will have to remain on campus, there are 23 teachers from the school who will be traveling from their homes to the campus. Transportation will be provided for the teachers by President's College. All students will be required to do a COVID-19 test before entering the dorms, and a quarantine area has also been set up at President's College while students await their COVID-19 results. While a number of parents have agreed to allow their children to stay in the dorms, others have opted for a transfer. Here is what a few parents had to say. Region 4 is a nest of COVID. We are looking to protect our children. Those who have to travel in the public transportation, you're in trouble. Because the conductors and the drivers and even passengers who travel in those buses travel through the counter business. And these are buses this morning to ramp back. And our children have been abused in buses when they talk. I know about that person. Just like you're concerned about her uh, husband going out and coming in, that's my concern because it's even a difficult decision for me to have my daughter staying in. But it would be something that I would consider if all the teachers were staying in as well. If everybody was in, and it, that, to me that's a lock-in. But if the teachers are going out, the teachers are going to go to the market as well. The ministry also made a commitment to support parents in whatever decision they take during this time, whether to assist with the transition to dorms life or a transfer for the students to another school. There is also a stringent COVID-19 health plan for the entire school to ensure the health and safety of every child and employee. Meanwhile, the students during the meeting inquired about the continuation of online learning at home, but the minister explained that it would be difficult for teachers at the school to engage students in the classroom as well as online. But according to Manik Chan, if a large number of PC students decide to do online learning, they can be accommodated at other schools which are currently engaged in full online classes, for example, Queen's College. Schools across Guyana reopened on Monday to cater for students in grades 10, 11, and 12 who are preparing for the 2021 CSEC and CAPE exams. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Patwo.